Hi guys, welcome to my system. I've arised it as they say, I've themed it a little bit, put the bar up there, changed the icons, and still the same wallpaper basically, but Alt N is a shortcut to just switch around and have something different. So the video is about how to install Outlinx. We are on, these are all the data, everything you see, right? That's the information you can read a lot in NeoFetch and you know this is the last ISO. This is the holiday ISO, as we call it. We've moved the release for September forward to the middle of August because of the new uh, server that we've bought. So you have a new ISO, 09, right? Meaning it's meant, it was meant for the September. And um, on that system, I'm going to explain you how to install the new Arcanix that's out there, the September, the holiday release, let's call it like that. I have, of course, my virtual box ready. I have a template. I did a clone. Arcanlex XL is the name I gave it. And I have added Arcanlex XL 21098 in there. And then we boot up and we explain some things. There are new choices, right? Extra lines in here. And it all matters. There are probably hundreds of combinations of hardware out there and Linux, the kernel, can figure out what it sees, but not always, right? So we need to help them with certain lines. This line is the open source line that provides the Linux kernel and some of the graphics that are on the ISO to make sure they see something graphical. This is exactly the same thing without the Nouveau package. And it's those packages that are called XF86-video. So the Video Nouveau is not there. It will be removed if you choose this one. Because we've learned that in the Nouveau package can cause for issues. And that's why we have also another line called NVIDIA, but without Nouveau. We've learned that in the past. And I thank the user on the forum who after, I mean, pfft, literally probably 15 posts, we figured it out together that in, on his hardware, he needs to boot with this one. He needs to boot and tell the system, boot with NVIDIA driver, but no Nouveau. Nouveau can't be there for him on his hardware. So it is all about choices. So this one is the open source drivers. This one is the same without the Nouveau driver. This is the NVIDIA driver. It is important to tell you that this is for the newer NVIDIA cards, all right? So there is also another package available on Arch Linux called 340 and also one 390. Those are for the older cards. So if you have an older card, you start booting up with open source and then you do yay or paru NVIDIA 340 or NVIDIA 390 and you build it. And then this one is for, if anything else fails, we say to the system, forget about graphical settings. So no mode set is a technical term so that the kernel says, forget about graphicals. I'll just take, I think it's 800 or 600 pixels or something like that. So at least you can boot up. So the point is there are more alternatives, right? Choose the one that works for you. I have one machine here that has an NVIDIA card. I can use both of them. I don't have an issue if Nouveau is there, but maybe you do, right? So you decide, okay, I'm gonna take this one from now on. And that's exactly the same. This, this is now the bias look, so it's a nice graphical look. Then you know it's bias. If there are just lines and no logo, then it's the UFI. It's exactly the same thing, right? Same reasoning. It's just another look, but it is also the NVIDIA, also NVIDIA no Nouveau, and the same here with open source and open source no Nouveau. So that means if you boot up with this thing, NVIDIA is used to show you. But also in the end, in the when you install everything, then as well, you will have the NVIDIA there. It's gonna be there in your future system. That's the point, right? All right, long story short, but I, rather go into detail so we get less questions right we will point you for sure to these pages right 
it's the point of all these videos that we and, and all these uh, websites we pay for them and we urge you to watch the installation videos here is everything you need to do to start any information of bias the pre-installation and this video is gonna go in the installation Articlinux XL it's gonna be in here and that's the other one Articlinux XS okay so first if, if you're totally new go there now this is new again right with all the choices we gave you advanced installation this was the normal installation with all these choices we gave people comes knowledge comes experience comes knowledge of your system comes knowledge of the packages and that may be too much for a beginner hence yes let's do a beginner installation i think that's the best option that we can give and this is also the standard option on other distributions right i've installed in this july and august vacation or holiday i installed other systems and this is basically what they they give no choice there is often no choice at all it's just a few button as any buttons or, or um, well screens like these ones where you decide what language it is right oh for future sake this is the reference that we're using so calamaris is our graphical installer and that's the version next it knows where i live so that's good otherwise you just set it by clicking somewhere right uh, paris amsterdam paris amsterdam just in between very small town <laughs> brussels belgium keyboard and this is the the only thing that gets technical right depending on the system do you have a lot of memory then i would say just use no swap right what is a lot eight and above is a lot there's already a lot to have eight gigabytes all right uh, it's, it's personal you you do whatever you want right that's one choice swap is you have very small memory and and you need to have more room but you don't want to buy the extra uh, hardware then you can use the swap if you want to hibernate you use swap or hibernate so you can hibernate the system and basically everything is written here everything that's in, in the process is is here and then you boot up from it and swap to file that's also maybe something interesting because at this point in time it's two gigabyte that's new that's pure articles that does that and you can make it four five six seven twenty i mean it's it's a file you can make it bigger so choices these choices other distributions again do not give you any choice here and just just say it's going to be that again another choice is how to format so drawing lines on a hard disk or an ssd or an nvme drawing lines from here to here and and completely direct directory structure and all that a, a file system choose what file system you want basically i think x4 for a beginner is good and all the rest is great if you want to experiment right learn more read more lots of videos about all these things and then that's the most technical thing in the beginner and it's up to next names passwords and all that decide login same password or not this is what i would suggest as a beginner and then you install install now and then off it goes right so that's the beginner look the other look is the advanced installation that's where you know a lot more that's where you know that you want to have later on this is the linux kernel here it says so doesn't say LTS so you know it's a Linux kernel so that means that you here you can make decisions to install maybe the Zen kernel something like that but there you need to know tools you need to know packages you need to know about drivers you need to know about um, all kinds of, of possibilities but again the Nvidia choice is actually done in the boot up in bias and ufi that's what we try to tell you select nvidia and bias or ufi there's no need to do it here it will work 
but basically start sooner choose sooner and then uh, maybe you want to switch so make it more complex right sddm is the default but maybe you would like to have the light yam maybe you still need to enable it then later so you need to know some stuff maybe you want to combine this is xfce you want to combine it with awesome or something else again making it more complex and this for beginners i get it it's too difficult right this is also new we have here the our tools right our packages that we think might be interesting for you to install straight away some icons uh, meta fun package logging things so knowing what your machine does samba sdm themes all of this if that's totally new right it's there you can learn about it on our websites so lots of applications fonts multimedia it's a choice but you don't know yet maybe what choice you want to make because you don't know these tools but all of, of this is available and then the normal structure comes again right where am i living i'm mean, living in brussels yes okay keyboard is belgian still next erase disk we told him to do a swap to file x4 we can decide to do a no swap x4 it's all about you making decisions here you can even encrypt and to put of course the same passwords here and here and then you're encrypting your system means that when you boot up before you see anything you need to put in the password and then it boots up so a kind of protection and here we can go again and that's how we install article next these days all right so i hope it's um it's clear what to do in the beginning would say forget about using the advanced first try to understand how everything works in linux in article Linux, in arch Linux, and then later on you can make smarter decisions and go to the advanced and say okay this and that and this and start cherry picking as they say all right have fun installing article Linux. cheers